Now I already covered how this jig works and what exactly it does in another video. So this video is gonna be about building it. So this is my take on a screw advanced box joint jig. The carriage is moved around by this ball screw and the ball screw is turned by this stepper motor. And the stepper motor is controlled by an Arduino Nano. And if you'd like to learn more about how this jig works, just click the link in the description. It all started with two pieces of oak that were left over from my kitchen table build. And I milled those to size using the little jointer planer combination. After that I routed a groove into each of them to accept a wooden runner. The runner was then made from two offcuts of the same piece of oak. And I glued the runner into place using my homemade bar clamps. While waiting for the glue to dry I milled two pieces of spruce that will support the workpiece underneath the carriage. And I marked and drilled all the screw holes. Because I didn't have screws that were long enough, I inset some shorter ones. Which looks pretty nice. Now this is a perfect fit, but way too tight for moving parts. And I used a bread point drill as a transfer punch. And I'm easing over the edges with a block plane. This piece of Baltic birch plywood makes up the bottom of the jig and will also serve to keep the face of the jig nice and straight. Next I screwed on the two support pieces. Don't buy these T-Tracks from hobby woodworking suppliers, because they sell them at a multiple of the actual price. I get those on eBay and they are pretty cheap. Now before anyone says, wood glue is called wood glue for a reason dude. Officially this is PVA dispersion adhesive and it is actually a great choice for gluing aluminium to wood. Just try it, you'll be amazed. After that was done I made two of these thingies that will push the carriage into the guide rail and that way take out any slack. 
It's the driest season right now and these dowels will, if anything, expand, which will hold these bearings securely in place. The shape of these cams gives the springs a 4 to 1 mechanical advantage. Four years ago when I started studying engineering, I had decided to build a CNC machine and I got all the parts ready, but then I did of course never have any time to even consider building it. So this is a perfect chance to finally recycle some of these parts. Originally this ball screw was meant for the x-axis of the CNC machine. I never even removed the packaging. Now I'm installing the ball screw and I make sure that it is parallel to the guide rail. Then I installed all the electric components. and then the stepper driver and the Arduino. During this project I burned up maybe about four Arduinos, I think. That's quite a telling kink in that end switch, don't you think? Next I installed the rear cover of the jig. And now the runner for the miter slot. And I even added a fake emergency stop. Just kidding, it works. The buttons were soldered on using lead-free solder.
And finally it was ready for a first test. What I totally forgot were those two pieces that ride in a groove in the back piece to stabilize the carriage against rocking back and forth with a tall workpiece on it. And then it was time for the first real test run. Which didn't go so well. It turned out that there was an error in the code. But after I had that figured out, it just worked absolutely beautifully. As a final test I attached a lot of weight to the carriage and made it go through its entire length of travel to see if it would skip any steps. But apparently it doesn't. Now there are still a couple of minor things that I want to address, but all in all this thing turned out pretty darn useful. <laughs> 